Hello, Commander Pilot. My name is Pedro Raposa. I'm the Fleet Sales Director for Cirrus Aircraft in uh, uh, Europe, Middle East and Africa. I'm here to tell you all about the Track 20, which is the training version of the best-selling um, SR-20 aircraft. Cirrus has just done its 8,000 aircraft, so we have a long, long presence in the market. And I just want to point out a few things for you around the aircraft, okay? So, starting in the front, we have the Lycoming 4-cylinder, 115 horsepower. It's a really nice engine to, to fly. Um, this will be doing about uh, 10 gallons uh, per hour at, uh, at uh, cruise speed, probably 8,000 8, feet. If you lean it well, 65% power, you'll be cruising at that. Comfortable, about 150 knots uh, through airspeed. It has some really nice brakes, you can see here. It's the Berrigan brakes. The, the wheels are tubeless, so you don't need to be looking for the crypto mark. So forget about that on pre-flight. And you can, you, can look, you can look on the other side for a little window where you will see the brake status right around there. Okay, so this is a very aerodynamic aircraft, full composite, uh, glass fiber and carbon fiber. Uh, if you just look at the wing, it's, this is the cuffed wing. This was designed by NASA and Cirrus Aircraft. What this does is there's a different angle of attack on this section, which means when you're stalling, you have more aileron authority and you will, it will be much more difficult for you to enter in a spin. Okay, then you've got here, Light, you've got the ice light, if you want to see lights here. This, is, this, this model doesn't have an anti-ice, doesn't have the Fiki, it's not a Fiki aircraft. Um, you've got 60, 56 gallons of fuel, 49 are usable. And over here we have all LED lights, nav lights, landing lights, and presence lights. You will do the wig wag when you're about 300 feet coming down. Flap settings, take off normally 50%. Landing's about, is two settings, 100%. Uh, for landing. Um, max takeoff weight 3150 pounds. Uh, the autonomy it can go up to up to five hours. Okay. Okay, so now let's have a look inside the aircraft. This is a Perspective Plus by Garmin sixth generation. We normally put a uh, battery and we get and put battery bed one, bed two, and we'll put the flaps down to see how they're working. So you've got your primary flight display You've got your uh, main flight display. This aircraft has a couple of very nice things. It's got air conditioning over there, like you would see in your, in your car, you have air conditioning. And over here, you've got your CAPS. CAPS stands for Cirrus um, Airframe Parachute System. Um, there's this little pin here, and in case of an emergency, we pull this down, and the rocket goes on the back of the plane and will put the, the parachute. Normally, we can use this above 600 feet AGL. So when you, when you see the avionics, you will see, um, you will see this is the FMS. Uh, the flaps are here and you've got a fuel pump. You've got your mixture, you've got your, your uh, fuel, um, your throttle. One of the interesting things about this aircraft, it's a variable pitch propeller, but it's integrated the, the power lever and the blue lever into a single lever. Yeah. So they're synchronized. they're synchronized, mechanically synchronized. Okay, normally you would go here on the FMS and you'll see your databases. We'll give you a briefing and it will give you the weight and balance. Weight and balance is, is all electronic. Uh, and you would go through that. And if you would wanna, you wanna see where you are, it will give you, it will, this will be a moving map. You've got all your engine information here. Cylinder head, DGT, both batteries, both alternators. And you've got, uh, you've got three buses. You've got main bus one, main bus two, and essential bus, depending on, on where it's feeding the batteries. Okay, side yoke, standard on every series aircraft. Uh, autopilot, three axis autopilot, with heading modes, nav modes. You can do um, vertical speed, flight level change, altitude select, and the famous blue button, if you go on an attitude and you're feeling not very comfortable, it will level off. It will level off. Plus, it's got electronic stability and, and protection. So anything above 17 and a half degrees pitch or 45 degrees bank, the plane will gently bring you back and uh, will we'll keep you safe. Okay, um, there's a lot of functions here. You've got traffic advisory system. You've got, uh, you've got charts. You can go here and see, for example, we're at Ponte Sor. You can see where the plane is. It's got a safe taxi feature. It will tell you exactly where you are. And you can have these charts for, you know, arrival, departure, approach, all of that stuff and overlaid with weather um, on, on the system. You've got your standby instruments here, you've got your circuit brakes here, your alternate static source, 
Um, you've got basically here to plug in your headset. It's certified to take five people. There'll be three kids in the back or two adults. Um, and other than all the nice tees of, of aircon and, and you know, I've got some, some uh, courtesy lights, um, four point seats, uh, uh, seat belts with airbags. Uh, plus the seats are certified for 26 G's uh, in case you, you drop down uh, with caps. Um, and you will see here um, other information, you've got synthetic vision um, and basically this is everything you, you use for, uh, for managing your flight. If you go on flight plan then you can actually put your, your flight plan in Garmin Pilot and synchronize it with, with, uh, with, uh, with the system and automatically it's loaded the flight plan you've about this aircraft, uh, what I can only say is uh, um, on the description below, I will leave the, the website of Zeros and an email for you to reach them. Uh, for sure, I'm uh, very uh, interested in uh, trying to fly one of these aircraft. Uh, <laughs> uh, gave me, it gave me really the bug. Uh, so guys, um, I hope to see you soon. Pedro, thank you. Thank you, thanks for, uh, for letting us talk about this wonderful machine. Well, thank you, me. Guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.